storm warning in effect tonight. That ice starting to coat roads, trees, and max lines, and that freezing rain will continue overnight. At 11 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. We're getting reports of ice coming in from Hood River to the West Hills of Portland, and our crews are spread out all around the metro area. And Chief Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke is tracking the system from the Coin 6 Weather Center. But let's begin tonight with Cole Miller live in Hood River Force. Cole, what's the situation there? Well, Jeff, Jennifer, good evening. We're still seeing these frozen pellets, this frozen rainfall from the sky, and it is just covering the roadways out here. Now, I-84 behind me, it remains open at tonight at this 11 o'clock hour. No closures to report to you. Now, things, though, are moving very slowly along there. We've seen cars and trucks just crawling from here to, say, Cascade Locks. Now, first it was the wind ripping through the gorge, then the rain, and then it was the freezing rain. Now, the wind has been roaring for hours now, and then came that rain. It was falling, and with the temperatures also falling throughout the evening hours, that started to freeze over, and we saw these sleet-like pellets beginning to fall. Now, ODOT is keeping on top of things out here. I'm told between Troutdale and Hood River here, roughly 15,000 gallons of de-icer had been put down before things got nasty, and we saw the weather change, and drivers out here are keeping their heads on a swivel. I'm just kind of being cautious, um, watching the road, watching other people and trucks and making sure they're not going too fast. And um, I'm going to keep calling the ODOT and checking on the road conditions. Now, as soon as the weather began to take a turn, not a whole lot of cars or trucks out on the freeway. It really has slowed down. Now, we'll come out back to a live picture here. You're looking uh, west of Hood River, a very bare and empty, uh, sleet-covered I-84. Very bare. Again, no cars coming uh, this way. Now, again, I-84 remains open at this time, even though not a whole lot of traffic. But west of here, Corbett Hill Road. It has been closed due to ice. And Corbett Schools, they've also been called off for tomorrow because of the weather we're seeing out here. Live tonight in Hood River, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. All right, Cole. Now, we thought maybe this ice would just stick to the gorge, but in the last hour here in the Portland area, ice is starting to stick to some trees and power lines in some of the higher elevations. In fact, we just got word a tree came down on Northwest Skyline at Thompson, and that caused a car crash and has knocked out power to more than 5,000 people. The ice is also causing major delays on the MAX lines. Our Tim Becker is live at the Gateway Transit Center. Tim? Yeah, you know, the uh, the drive out here, the roads were pretty much just wet. They felt safe, but once you got out here, there was a thin layer of, of ice on just about everything, and that was enough to cause major delays for all the MAX trains that roll through here. There's enough of that east wind blowing down through here to freeze up the rain as uh, it falls onto things like trees, power lines, street signs, icicles forming all over the place, and that includes the overhead lines at the MAX station here at Gateway. And that's a problem because this is a major hub. TriMet tells us that the blue, the green, and the red lines are all experiencing delays of 45 minutes to an hour. They're bringing shuttle buses in here to get everybody where they're going. The orange and yellow lines, we're told, those are delayed about a half an hour as well. So just a cold, miserable wait for a lot of people here who wanted to be somewhere else a while ago. How long have you been here now? Just about an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Standing out in the cold most of the time? Yeah. Sitting here waiting for whatever bus I could get to get where I'm going. There's a theater bus right here, folks. This bus is headed towards downtown. Everybody watch your stand board if you want to go downtown. I'm just picking up. Well, a lot of trains just sitting around on the tracks like the one you're looking at. We boarded one of them and came across about 10 people just sitting there trying to stay warm and, and, and huddling together and waiting for the shuttle buses to come along. Now, we haven't had any word yet from TriMet uh, about when these uh, lines overhead here are going to be de-iced. We've just had a crew over here like two minutes ago knocking ice off of them. So as far as how long these delays will last, we're not sure at this point. If we find out anything new, though, we'll get back to you. Live in Northeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Yes, we'll certainly keep checking on that. Thanks, Tim. What a mess out there. This is something that really affects everybody. And the fact we're starting to 